Dublin Marley here, back again. Playing some more War on the Sea. Almost at 200 ships. Got 96 uh, lovely... Let's fix this real quick. Interesting, my plane just all stopped. We'll ignore you. Ooh, we only got five. That's insane. Hopefully that will be taken care of when the day resets. In this they're out of a uh, boat thing sending out light cruisers non-stop this is this is the life this is why I think the 200 boat thing needs to change. They either need to A, add more ships. I mean, if you need to add ships, you can just make patrol boats or uh, PT boats. Or extra barges and stuff like that. Mm. Man, they got some good AA, man. Mm. And I got five torpedo hits. So that was a trade. Kind of worth it. <laughs> I mean, it's worth it, but... Yeah, you just see it going down. That's awesome. Well, you need to go back and make some brothers and sisters. There, you'll make some more. Hopefully, it doesn't screw up their patrol patterns. gonna mess with that little boat there I'm more concerned about a uh, big convoy here well Mavs you're about all I got man let's try this way
can't tell where he's going. Looks like he's going this way. Something like that. Hopefully that can uh, do it for me. I have a feeling I'm going to lose him. Or nighttime. Do like that they're getting spicier though. Yeah, 182. Save up those command points, get some of those repairs back, and then I can build my nice carrier force and heavy cruiser force to take this out. Maybe even add a battleship because eight ships? What the hell? this guy over with. Yeah, it's the itty bitty boats. See if we can get lucky here. What's funny is I like the first like half of the game, and then the second half of the game is like, yeah, I'm kind of bored already. I like the struggle when you think you might not win. And then I hate the logistics of the ending of it all. Oh yeah, these are horrible shots. This guy might get hit. Eh, maybe they hit both of them. Nice. Oh, missed. One out of two ain't bad for these guys. I'll be back for you. I 
I find it funny that one of these ships counts the same as a battleship or a carrier for the total uh, total number of ships sunk. see if it's eight ships to be perfectly honest all right so let's do a turn to the left The cruise ship, small ship, small ship. Oh, we got the damage guy. And we got another cruise ship. Or cargo ship. Let's take one of you. See if we can get the cruise ship. They're maneuvering, so it won't matter. Ugly angles there. Oh well, I'm committed. It couldn't even drop. Son of a biscuit. on the south and oh well one ain't bad I know I already hit this guy with one or two torpedoes. He should be going down quickly. And he is not going down. Mm -hmm. probably scuttle. And he doesn't scuttle. What an annoyance. And it was an 8, so I feel kind of cheated there.
Oh no, cease. You go be a smart little warplane and get the hell out of here. <clears throat> you know what base I'd love to take out? The B-17 base. I would lose so many fighters, or so many bombers trying to do that, though. It was probably not worth it. No, I didn't want to do that anyway. Too late, we'll let him ride. A lot of transports rolling around right now. Kind of weird. Hopefully I get paid here shortly. Alright. Three of these guys. And two of these guys. way yeah I thought so all right have at him boys see some of the British big guns they got two battleships and they've got the carriers here that would be fun bad one should do it I 
at one day per, pla per plane replacement. I wish there was a a way. That you could like take planes from here and send them to here to replace planes. So then the the rear air bases are making up the one per day. Ooh, spicy. not the course it's probably something like this you know what how about you just go after this guy he is going this way. Let's try something like that. Alright. change targets on me. And two ship boats. Got it. gotta be a horrible feeling on a boat like all right we got planes Another boat, another boat. RTB Now let's go over to this one 
the one I care about. There he is. That's beautiful. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Ah, not this guy, that guy. Just killing time trying to finish off this uh, game. It's in the uh, the end slog where they're just sending made up convoys at me. All right, what we got? Ooh, that looks like something. Right. Let's take that one out. Oh yeah, well I'm just waiting for like the So It's sending out single cruisers sometimes. It's kind of funny. And you'll just be like, "What?" I mean, this is a one game. I just gotta make it all the way through it. Really, it's just a resource. Yeah. Because I got like 96 points in the bank right now. And then a bunch of more coming in through repair, so... Oh, I get it. Well, I was kind of waiting for the the uh, Mediterranean push. I never saw the carriers. So I was kind of wondering like where they are. So when I push towards Java, I want to have a bunch I want to have some carrier support just in case. Damn, that's quick. So I saw that there, there's a new version of the Mediterranean campaign out of the uh, the other guys. I might give that a whirl just to see. That's cool. Let's see if this guy actually goes down. What new features do you got for it coming out? What really hurts is like the German subs. I mean, in real life, they were pretty good, but game-wise, they kind of suck. <laughs> like, that British sub with 10 torpedo tubes is, like, or godly. I just want to send out my condors and search for British uh, convoys. And then I want to bum rush and I want to take the, the neutral Portuguese islands for an air base. Uh, this guy should go down. Yeah, yeah, he's going to go down.
I don't mm. know if it will let you. It, the Twitch is real strange about posting stuff. Mm. I am not the expert on that. Mm. You know what would even be like crazy cool? If you, you the tech could advance as you play the game. So like ASW gets better. Get the hell out of here, stupid Helena. Well, I got the ship I wanted, so that's good enough. Mm. Alright, let's throw you back to good old base. Damn, actually going after my guys. How dare they? Thank God you're a fast bomber. Oh, that's a mess. Yeah, they might be able to get him. Oh yeah, they're gonna get him. That sucks. And I'm out of them. Shoot. Alright, cool. Well, I guess I just don't have one down here. Till tomorrow. Oh, sweet. I got supplies. Send you back down to here. There we go. Whoa, let's go real slow here. Battle for the Atlantic. In progress, step into the heart of the Atlantic during World War II, where the fate of nations hangs in the balance. The Battle of Atlantic Campaign V-1 brings the most immersive and realistic naval war warfare experience to your fingertips. <laughs> Man, you're going too fast. Can't read that fast. As commander, you lead a task force through the treacherous waters facing relentless enemy forces and unforgiving sea what's new for the 1.0 release optimizational resources and resupply mechanics the introduction of new resource mechanics has reshaped how you manage your fleet by default new carrier aircraft require release and is now turned off in campaign settings adjust it to your profession preferences Ooh, replenishment at sea. You can resupply your fleet on the move. That is awesome. A 
AI torpedo detection and invasion. The battle beneath the waves has intensified. Enemy AI now mirrors your tactics, detecting and evading incoming torpedoes with advanced maneuvers. Thanks to the strategic minds of Clastro and KFG, the AI now possesses a more formidable challenge, making every engagement a true test of skill. Torpedo deflection. Not every torpedo will seal the enemy's fate. Torpedoes striking at shallow ang angles may fail to detonate, adding a layer of unpredictability, so you need to have that nice T. Keep an eye out for torpedo deflection, deflected message, and prepared with a possibility for a follow-up strike. At that, I think I'm just going to run. Realistic submarine camera restrictions. Ooh. So your cameras can no longer view the enemy ships. You're going to have to use your periscope and then your sonar. All right. Submarine compatibility. All summary configurations have been meticulously upgraded to integrate with the latest mechanics, ensuring your underwater missions are smooth and strategically rich. Submarine torpedo deviation experience, the challenges of historic naval warfare, introduces random deviation to your... God, I hope, I hope you don't have to play the Americans, so basically your torpedoes can just randomly malfunction. Yeah, so you can get hit. The USS Tang, where their torpedo did a, a big, huge circle and sank themselves. Visual depth indicators, stay for nothing. That's nice. I'd like to have the. I like to know what my uh, crush depth is. <laughs> Because I've sank my own submarines multiple times by dive to 300. Oh man, I can't do that. Where the hell is this at? Oh, here? So ships will now use their small cowable AA to shoot at other surface units if no aircraft are in range and ricochet. Wow, that's a lot of stuff that you've added. Some of those crazy... I have a feeling it's going to be real hard to win as Germany then. Does Germany have like weird wind conditions? I mean, I'm assuming they just have to sink a bunch of ships, right? I'm assuming Germany just has to uh, sink a bunch of ships to win the war. That is pretty cool, though. Mm. Some of those look pretty interesting. Because I don't see how you're going to invade. You're never going to be able to invade North America. I mean, it's not realistic. I thought about doing it as the... Uh, I thought about doing it in the other campaign, though, just for fun. Man, they are spicy today.
they really want to do something. That looks uh, very interesting. What I like is the the rasp stuff or the rasp stuff replenish it under supply or however the hell you say that to me that is very interesting damn night time Because the campaign mechanics are going to be really weird, like... Your victory conditions are probably ship sunk or something like that. Damn subs. Ooh, 112 points. Getting there. Almost invasion ready. What am I sitting at, anyway? One eighty six. Oh, yeah, I gotta send that other guy out now. Something like that. They sure have points for a lot of submarines. They're everywhere. There we go. Can't have a single cruiser just playing around up there. Damn. They got a lot of stuff coming today. Yeah, the Battle of Atlantic will be a really... Because especially under the, the constraints of Killerfish game, of this game system, it will make it pretty interesting. That is not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. here hmm. let's see here this is a light cruiser looks like British I got two left of those guys. Holy crap, these guys are far away. like he's turning so let's go
another one of their weird designs. One, two, three, four, five guns. early torpedo doesn't sp oh shit it's gonna miss mm. don't screw this up boys mm. I think we got it mm. three might be enough for uh, these guys Good. I can only imagine the ships that are going to be in that game, too. Because that would probably include pretty much all British like destroyers, corvettes and then if the Americans are in there there's pretty decent amount of those types too there can be a lot of ships what I can't sneak into scalp a flow and sink a battleship I just want to take part in the happy times. I want to mm. set like six or seven German subs off the American coast and just decimate mm. American shipping. God, if they're going to include a replenishment at sea, you know it would be really cool if you could get to add it the milk or the the milk I don't know how they pronounce it the German resupply subs you could just pop up your resupply sub here's some new torpedoes have at it son Nice. I can't believe I didn't get that cruiser. Ah. Uh, that sucks. Uh, do a U-turn. Oh, it's that guy again. The ship that never dies. That'd be, uh... Be very interesting if you get that to work. Have at it. So seventy five percent complete, which 
probably sometime around November, December ish. I got rid of the other one finally. Yeah, it's gonna be real weird with like deflection and stuff. Because that's gonna make like torpedo tactics a lot different. Like, once you determine that you have a sub, a, a submarine, do you just turn into it and then angle off, the, angle off it? Because the deflection is going to make the torpedo have a really high percent chance to not actually impact. Mm. You know what I'm, see, see what I'm talking about? So, like, sonar detects a submarine. Well, I'm going to want to get a bad angle. So, if it does launch torpedoes, I want a glancing blow. And really curious, is the deflection... This is just a, I'm just spitballing here. Is the deflection caused at the point of shot? So, does he determine his deflection when he shoots it? Or is it determined at the point of impact? So, basically, I'm going to maneuver my... If I can maneuver, will it matter? point of impact. Alright. That is the way I would like to see it, Ryan. So you can be totally cool in your computer, your targeting computer saying, hey, your torpedo doesn't have any deflection, and then the ship immediately turns into you. All right, I kind of understand this. Come on, just sing for me. There we go. Really want to get that. I got two of you. Let's go hunt them. He's somewhere over here. gonna make uh, submarine tactics very weird. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna turn into the torpedo. I'm going to always turn into the torpedoes. Really? Oh, those are bombers.
they'll never catch this guy. Well, they're American, they might catch him. Nah, they're never gonna catch him. Yeah, so if you can't completely avoid the torpedo, it's always best to be facing towards it, going at him. So never turn away, always turn into him. Be very uh, interesting uh, gameplay. I am looking forward to it. What planes do you have for uh, Germany? Just out of curiosity. I would love to see condors. Hell, you could almost use a Betty. Well, we, now. Nah. One tenth is probably pretty good at a. Uh, hell yeah. old HE one ones Yeah, that was a uh... One of Germany's uh, little strategic mistakes there, you know. That's good. It'll make it'll make playing the German side just so much harder. Because the German bomber corps is not the greatest. Yeah, <laughs> damn near impossible, probably, because I can only imagine the ASW. Well, yeah, because even at that time, Germany was what? Probably close to 100 subs. And here's a question, are, are sub models going to pop up as the game goes through? Uh, German, like, uh... Germany had new models introduced throughout the war. So if I make it to 1944, does a 1944 model sub pop up? Basically, ship release dates. That's one of the other things that I kind of wanted to see is, and it doesn't, this will be pretty hard to do. Are there any Italian submarines?
Italy had quite a few submarines. Yeah. I mean, they weren't as good, but they were there. Man, I might not get to 200 here. Yeah, the whole thing sounds pretty cool. I can't wait to check it out. Play it. I like the whole concept of a, a submarine-centric war. Because in real reality, like... The only thing that the Germans did right were probably the merchant raiders. Sending out the Bismarck in the middle of the Atlantic was probably not that bright of a maneuver. They could have kept that and gone more to interdict the uh, northern convoys to Russia with that. And then any ship they parked on the west coast of France was just a huge uh, a huge bomber target. <laughs> Well, I guess they don't want to play anymore. Alright, let's unload you. Always gotta get closer. All right, you poor guys, get your asses over there. That's cool that Killerfish Games is helping you out with the new mechanics and stuff. to practice up in my ASW or to be honest my sub tactics because I suck at subs and I can always play the allies And then you're going to have to send, I'm assuming you're going to have to send resources from Canada over to UK. So everything pops up in Canada then, right? <laughs> Where is that guy going? Alright, he's going over here. Alright, let's pop the jigs up first. Let's pop the Oscars up. Alright. Should be good. I've got 12 fighters. If this can't kill them, I don't know what will.
Alright, let's see what this guy is. Ooh, it's Americans too. Bastards. Seems like there's a lot of six of them. I, mean, I got a lot of bombers or a lot of fighters. This should be fine. I think I'm just going to let them do their thing. Ah, mm. uh, figures they shot Nate down. This guy thinks he's just going to escape, which to be honest, he probably will. Oh yeah, he's going 260, there's no way. That sucks. You can get him. He's smoking. And you're now out of ammo. Alright, so cease. You can go that way. There we go. Come on. I swear these guys can can't do anything against B seventeens. Oscar downed. You got him. And you're full ammo. I'd like to see like this get retake taken a look at. Or even a whole an auto calc feature. God, bombers are annoying. Mm. Oh shit, they're slow too. Oh, you ain't ever gonna catch them. Interesting. Still haven't shot down a single bomber.
There we go. Finally. Come on, you got him, Nate. Get out of there. Oh yeah, you got full. Come on, open fire. There we go. That's a little bit better. He's going 262. Awesome. Yeah, I don't understand why the bombers aren't just running. You got him. Open fire. And he's out of range already. Let's just get these guys out of here. I really can't afford the resources to rebuild the planes. I'm just going to have to just take that bomber hit, which really sucks, because that's a lot of damage. Ouch. Man, that hurt. Well, at least I got a lot of stuff there for him. Now hopefully the Australians don't hit me. see targets today. That's good. Let's see what that's at. Man, I am running out. Engineering and supply. And fuel. What is my rest and repair at? Alright, that stuff's coming pretty shortly. I don't want to build a big carrier then not have several heavy cruisers to defend it. And to be preferably 10 destroyers or max destroyers as well. I need all that sweet AA. Man, don't don't do that. It's at 10 integrity. 
at least take the port out. Oh no, it wasn't at 10. My bad. Woo. Nice that they switched to a strategic bombing campaign instead of ships now. supply there all right I need to go up here and get some when I build some more I do think for the Japanese side you should up the troop numbers Because they should have not unlimited troops, but Japan has quite a bit of troop capacity early in the war. That's my real limiting factor right now. Is this is like my main army force. And I don't know how much this place has, but I, I don't want to invade it and not be able to take it. So I have to wait to make sure I have enough troops. Yeah, it's just that you bleed troops through the invasions like because you start off with 50 and 20 or whatever, right? And you bleed so many troops through the... Where are they at right now? Eh, I guess they're nowhere. But all the submarine invasions will bleed a lot of troops from you. And supply, which is the worst part. But I'm down to 10,000 here. I've got probably six, six, and five ish there. Or six, six, five, maybe two or three. Japan didn't really think out their war very well. You know, they didn't even have anybody in charge of, like, fleet logistics or, like, they didn't think that they would need to do uh, convoy escorts and stuff like that. So they didn't even have, like, anybody in charge of that. And then the Americans just start sinking ships with subs and they're like, oh, shit, we gotta do this. Very, very poorly thought out. All right, no supply.
And it's, uh... There'll be ships for a little while, and then they just all disappear. It's just weird. points. There we go. Let's manage some cargo. I guess I can't put fuel in a cargo ship. Alright, let's get you home. And you can resupply them. Oh, wow. You know what? You're gonna go down to here. Getting these guys resupplied is more important. I need that air, this airfield needs to be fully operational. It is the most important one I have. All right, so a carrier cost 113 to 123. At a minimum, I need to have 140. I find 2,000 is just too fast when you have search planes out. There's just too many chances to miss targets. Damn, just nothing. There we go. It's 1600, that's too far. Gonna have to let you go, little buddy. And you were going north. You might actually be one of the morons doing that run. Yeah, I'm trying to play a little bit more. But I'm working now, so... No more staying up till 2 a.m. in the middle of the work week. Kind of sucks. going down south it's another thing that always kind of bugs me like if they're gonna retry and take an island why wouldn't they try and take these two I know how it works it works on objectives and whatnot but it just seems to me like these would be the best two targets for him All right. Well, at least you're back up to nine. All right. Tactical. 
Pickle that up. Good old Nels. Oh, it's the little guys too. So I ran into, by the way, the six inch gunned patrol boat that the Netherlands have. Needless to say, very surprised by that. Was it a six inch or an eight inch? I think it was six inch. Needless to say, it messed me up. Because I had shore bombarded Java, so I had no 8 inch guns, so all I had were 5 inch guns on my cruisers and my destroyers. <coughs> Even though it doesn't look like the ship has a lot of armor, that ship can take a beating. And it put the hurt down on... my destroyers. Which was quite weird. If I would have known about it beforehand, I would not have attacked it. It can be a horrible angle here. So, uh... Will deflection work for airplane torpedoes too? Because I have a feeling I'm going to have to start doing the whole circle method where you send your airplanes out in a circle and then just have them all go attack at the same time. And that will avoid the um, them being able to maneuver, basically. Like this asshole. Really? There we go. One's usually good enough for these guys. And they didn't uh, sink anything, so that's our shoot anything down, so that's always good. That will make torpedo bombing pretty difficult. All right, RTB back to base. Fall for going fast. Damn, 1600. I don't know if you can reach. Eh, we'll give it the good old college try. It's 
probably that one convoy I've been hitting like multiple times. Never know. Really do need some nice uh, targets here, though. But my rest and repair is getting close, so I'll be fine. Nothing. Of course, sixteen hundred again. I think I might let that one go. Thirty-six. Almost can afford it now. Well, I think I'm gonna call this and need to go to sleep. I've been up since 5 a.m. this morning. Nice talking to you again, New York. Really looking forward to that new version coming out. And, uh, other than that, I am going to go to bed. Catch you later, all.